Sup fellas and I am going to be showing you how you can play our Nintendo Switch games on the PC. So with the rise of PC gaming, like you know like the PS5 and the new Xbox, you probably may be wondering, as a Nintendo Switch owner, how will I be on that tier? Well the truth is, you can't, because Nintendo Switch is way too limited compared to the PS5 and the new Xbox, with quality and with space. But you can play on your PC with it, so you can somehow fit inside the PC gaming category. Maybe you want to play Mario, Mario Kart on PC, maybe you want to play Mario Maker 2 on the PC, maybe you want to play Splatoon 3 on the PC, well you can. So I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video right here. But before you get started, you're going to need these four exact things. A capture card, a stable dock with no issues, an HDMI cord, and the um, OBS application, OBS Studios. Or up a like, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and leave comments. I really do appreciate all that. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate you guys who just support me in those tiny little ways. All right, so um, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so right here, I just got in the package from Amazon my HDMI capture cord, which you will need. I'm gonna unbox it real quick and you explain you guys like how it works. By the way, I got this capture card for like around. To 40 to 30 bucks. I uh, didn't want to look any too expensive because a lot of people are going to be like, you should have the Elgato, but it's like, it really depends on your situation. If you really want to go all out with high quality, then yeah, I definitely recommend the Elgato, but if not, there's no rush. Uh, yeah, we got the capture cards. This is kind of like a tiny unboxing video, and this channel is popular for unboxing videos, so uh, you shouldn't really be that surprised at what you're seeing. Yeah, it's really tiny, you know, I'm not gonna Amazon it did kind of look big, but it turned out it's actually extremely tiny. So right there, you have to put your, uh, if so, it really depends on your situation. If you just want it for your computer, then you should just plug an HDMI cord right here into the switch, into the capture card. But if you want it for your um, TV too, you can, you're gonna need a second one, so you can plug it right in here to, uh, to go into your TV. All right, it really depends on your situation, and right here, you're gonna need to plug in the USB cord, which I got it with. There it is, you need to plug in the USB cord into your PC right into this section right here, which permits the capture card for turning on and basically, well, <laughs> working. All right, so um, let's move on to the actual setup. So we are back on the computer, and assuming that y'all already know how OBS Studios works, I'm not gonna show you guys how to get it. So basically, the first one you're gonna wanna do is type directly on your computer, OBS, Wait, obsproject.com Alright It's going to open up this page right here So it really depends what you're on If you're on Windows or Mac And you just pick whatever you're on You click it, it's going to download it And the download pop up right here on the bottom left And then you'll have to click on it And just accept everything they ask you Don't worry, you won't get hacked or glitched You have none to worry about Just click on it and it should install So you can finally have OBS Studios ready all right, so our next step is actually pretty simple. So what you wanna do is grab your HDMI cord that's connected to your Nintendo Switch, all right? Make sure one side's plugged in, and then for the other side, I want you to, to get your 4K capture card and plug it right into the HDMI input, all right, the one on the right. And plug it in just like that, all right? And right after that, which is actually pretty simple, I'm gonna need you to grab your USB to USB cable, all right? And it's actually pretty short, all right? And then you plug it into the USB port that they asked you to plug it in, all right? Just common knowledge. Plug it in right there. And then you plug it in the USB port that's in your computer. Hold up, if I can actually find this thing. Okay. And just like that. The capture card is now officially connected to the computer. All right. All right, guys. So OBS Studios is not giving me the permission to actually record what I want to show you guys. But basically, you just have to click that that little plus button down there. Then what's gonna pop up is video capture device. I'm gonna need you to click on that. Then click on OK. 
and then they're going to bring up the option to use your webcam usb webcam so i'm going to need you to clip on webcam and then click on usb video and all you're left to do is to just press the on button on your nintendo switch and you should be good it should pop up with no situation by the way guys i completely forgot to mention but before you actually confirm that you're using the usb video scroll all the way down on the same exact thing that you clicked on and click on audio only and you're going to see different options i'm going to need you to click on direct sound so it's, it said that for me so it probably says that for you and if it's not saying that then just click on your second option what it basically does it gives you the option for you to hear your nintendo switch sound effects so that's what you're going to need to hear while you're playing and right after that, I'd really suggest that you guys click check out your encoding settings so that you can have the maximum good quality as you can because it won't serve for you. You're going to have to set it yourself, all right? It's just to match your capture card capability because if your capture card is really good but the settings aren't set as good, you're going to have a lot of frame jobs. This is just to avoid the frame jobs that you might be getting if you don't modify it. And after that, you can now play Nintendo Switch games on your computer. Well guys, I guess that does it for my little tutorial video on how you can finally play Nintendo Switch games on your PC or whatever type of PC you have. So make sure you took account that you uh, modified the encoding settings because I actually forgot to do this and it literally said I was overloading. Matter of fact, you will see that I will that's overloading. So if you get into much frame jobs, make sure you modify your encoding settings. So, see y'all. Have a good day. Peace. I'm out.